Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nico of Cam Crunch, and today I'll be doing an overview of this Photo Deox or Diox uh, Gak and Flex Twin Lens Reflex Camera uh, Clone. And there's also other brands that actually sell this, such as Rakesi, I think. Um, but they're all the same camera. They are slightly different from the actual uh, Gak and Flex camera, but all of the rest of the clones are usually the same. And you can get this for around $15 to $25, depending on what brand you get and where you buy it. It's a do-it-yourself camera, so it actually comes with 68 pieces that you have to put together with a small screwdriver, but it's fairly simple. Uh, it took me around an hour, but if I didn't you know, try to understand how every part worked and how all the mechanisms worked, and if I just followed the manual straight away, then it would have taken me around half an hour to do it. So it shouldn't take you uh, that long, and the $15 to $25 is definitely worth it in terms of the amount of fun you get out of this camera. So I'll just give you an overview of all the um, of what's going on in the camera. You have two lenses because it's a twin lens reflex camera. You have the top lens, which is actually what your viewfinder sees, and then you have the bottom lens, which actually um, puts in the light that will expose your film. Uh, on the right, you have your film advance, which you rotate it, and you actually have a dial here. And when it turns halfway, then that's one exposure. And then another halfway, that's another exposure. And you have to do that before every shot uh, in order you know, to not get a double exposure. You have your rewind knob, which you just rewind after you've you know, shot a whole roll of film. In the back, you have your film compartment, which I will show you. And you put your film here, you know, put it through that knob, uh, wind it to exposure, of course, close it first and then wind it to exposures. Uh, make sure it's on the notches so that it will actually advance whenever you turn the film advance. And you're pretty much set. It's actually a pain to put that the lid back on, but you know it's 14 to 25 dollars, as I said, so it's definitely worth it. Uh, on the left, you have a tripod mount, which I haven't actually tried using, but I might want to use that in the future. And on the top, of course, you have the viewfinder. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but those are my speed lights, desk lamp, uh, bed, coffee, printer. It's a very bright viewfinder, uh, and it's you know um, you can cover it up like that when you're not using it. And to open it, you just pull these notches to the side. You open it up, pull the back, and then the sides. I'm actually missing a piece here uh, because the notch that came here is actually um, not made well. It's kind of bent, but it didn't chip off or anything. It was like, I don't know, it was a, it was a bad copy, I guess. So the, the piece wouldn't stay on. And as of right now, I think I have actually lost a piece, but I don't really mind. Uh, it still takes pictures and it still loads of fun. You have, um, you know, strap hooks here strap holes, and that's basically it for the camera. Uh, oh yeah, you have your shutter here. So if you, this is just a quick tutorial on how twin lens reflex cameras work. This viewfinder actually sees through this, but it's actually this lens that takes the picture, and that's basically how twin lens cameras work, uh, which is really cool. It's a really cool experience if you haven't used twin lens reflex cameras in the past. Um, so now I'll just like, you know, talk to you a little bit about my experiences with this camera. For fourteen to twenty-five dollars, again, it's a very good buy, especially if you're just you know planning to have fun. You won't get the sharpest images because it is considered a toy camera. Um, I've been using this you know Lomo film because it's easily accessible to me. I can buy it in Urban Outfitters really close by, and it's you know fourteen bucks for three rolls, which is kind of expensive for expired film, but um, I actually, I really don't mind. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. There have been some, you know, problems. Like when I was rewinding this for the first time after I finished my first roll of film, it actually kept stopping and I wasn't sure if I would be able to rewind the whole, um, roll of film. But, you know, after a while it starts going and you don't really have a problem. Um, another problem is when you're, you know, advancing your film because it's just this half 
circle thingy, if you miss it by a little or by a lot, you either get, you know, black strips in between your pictures, or if you do it too little, you'll get um, overlapping pictures when you don't intend to, which, you know, if you want to do a double exposure, it's fine, but when you don't intend to overlap pictures, then it could ruin a picture. Uh, but again, it's all for the fun, and, you know, those unique pictures that come out because of mistakes, you know, end up being really nice sometimes. And I guess that's part of the experience. Um, and I don't really know what else to say, but this is a great camera. If you want to build a camera yourself and get, you know, toy camera quality pictures, then it's a really fun camera. You can go out shooting and you don't really need to worry about the results because, well, the whole process of taking the pictures becomes um, equally or more important than the actual results that come out of these toy cameras. So, yeah, it's a really good camera. And I'm just going to finish this picture, uh, this video, with a few pictures from this camera, uh, from the first roll I took, actually. And you can see what kind of results they actually give. I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.